Hey, I think I'm on. Hey, everybody. Um, in the last video, we started making a um, navigation bar, but we've got bullet points and it's centered and it's, you know, it works. And we've got slides or we've got nav bar on, on each slide, but now we may need to make it look nice. So if you haven't watched that video, click on the link up there. And now let's get going. Okay, so in this video, like we added all of that code right there. Now we're going to jump over into the style and we're going to put, oops, we're going to put our, uh, space this out a little bit. Um, we're going to start doing some coding in the style.css page. So um, let's change the margin to zero. Don't forget the semicolon. Let's do some padding and make that zero. And then we're going to do some text decoration and we're going to make that none. So when we refresh this, you'll see that all of a sudden the bullet points are gone. The underlining is gone and it's on every single page. So this asterisk adds it to every single page, which is nice. Okay, now let's work on our list. So um, we are going to um, style list style um, type. And I'm going to make this none. But as you can see, I like defaulted and it, it changed it to something. Um, margin zero adding zero width I'm going to make my width 150 pixels I'm going to make my background color little background dash color and I'm going to make that um, one f1 f1 you can see it gave it that little like gray tint um and let's do a border and make that one pixel um one pixel solid and then we're going to do a color and i'm going to go five five all right eight that to 100% position. If I can spell position right. Fixed and overflow. Okay. See what that looks like. All of a sudden, it's over here. Okay. Um, now, these are my suggestions. After you get yours to bump over here, I would suggest, you know, if you don't like my color scheme, change your color scheme. If you don't like my margins, change my margins. If you don't like the height, change the height. Um, but I wanted to show you what that does. All right, now let's move on to uh, the list, the list, sorry. And I'm going to do, um, I'm gonna show you how to align the um the list inside of there so i'm gonna go center i'm gonna go border bottom and i'm gonna go one pixel solid and we're gonna go five 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 on that oh don't forget semicolons those are very important and hit refresh and you can see we've got lines in between there separating them which is always nice if you don't like that you don't have to add that all right, next up, we're going to um, last, last child and do a border slash bottom. I'm going to go none on this. Press that you can see 
it took away that last line. If you don't like that, don't add it. Or you can always, you know, edit it and change change yours to something else. Okay, let me move this up a little bit. Unorganized list. The next thing we want to do is display. And I'm going to go inline block. Um, I'm going to go list style. Make that none. And I'm going to go list style position. I'm going to make that left. Again, going back in here, and we can see all of a sudden we've added some lines there. You know what? I'm not a huge fan of that, but I just wanted to show you that um, it gave you some divider there. All right. Um, let's see here. Okay. Now let's go. I, um, this one. I'm going to make this a block. We're going to color. We're going to make this zero, zero, zero. You can see it's black. Adding eight pixels by 16 pixels and text and decoration none you guys can play with that after you refresh it all of a sudden you've got some separation there cleans it up a little bit nicer okay now I want to add some like color over the top of that. I know this video is getting kind of long, so I'm going to try and hustle through this. So we're going to um, make a hover color. And on our list, and we want the background color. Yeah, I spelled it right. To be, I'm going to go with a green. So I'm going to go 4C, F50, I believe. There it goes. Okay. Got a green. And then if I were to change that, now I've got to change, oh, shoot. This to white. And press this. Now you can see it changes the color of the font to white as we hover over those things. So again, you can change the color. If you don't like that green on white or white on green, you can totally change that. Okay, now the cool thing about this is when I switch pages, look at that, it changes it there too. Uh, it changes it there, so we're not changing it on every single page. Okay. Now I'm just under nine minutes. Thanks for bearing with me. There's a lot there. Uh, feel free to edit yours, but we do want a vertical or you can do a horizontal navigation bar. There are great directions at W3 schools. All right, thanks for watching. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to add them to the uh, comments below or on our Google Classroom. Thanks for watching.